rush to get to you during a medical emergency is getting faster in Pickens County. County and city leaders say their agreement with the local ambulance service is now working. It is on the road. Brian Henry live in fire from Carrollton <laughs> with when this all started and how big of an impact it can have, Brian. Well, Jonathan, Sarah, April 15th was the day that it all came together and the mayor of Carrollton could not be more pleased after months of negotiations. Firehouse Drive in Carrollton often became an avenue of frustrations for the locals with only one ambulance serving the entire county. One ambulance, a vacant hospital, that combination became a rallying cry for folks like Carrollton Mayor Mickey Walker. That's, that's been a blessing for us. A blessing because local leaders consummated a new deal with Pickens County Ambulance on April 15th, a deal that requires each municipality to chip in their fair share to fund an improved service. In Carrollton's case, the monthly bill comes to a little more than $1,500. Um, ambulance service assured that they had all staff, was fully staffed. Well, well I have noticed an improvement. We, we, um, me, me, me and the mayor and stuff, you know, I've got a scanner and I'm hearing the response time on these calls a lot better in the last three to four weeks. I don't know if, how long they've had them in place, but the response time has been a lot better. Better because instead of one, the service as a second ambulance, and as the mayor said, more staffing, four additional employees, two ambulances running five days a week with plans to run one unit 24-7. Even though paramedics will still need to transport patients to hospitals either in Columbus or Northport, it's progress. Um, all the county officials work great together. All this after six months of working together, countless phone calls, and three meetings at a restaurant and reform. That's what this is all about, okay? Wasn't a lot of negative on it. It just, there was a few questions that had to be answered and we got them answered. In short, they're breathing a little easier in Pickens County. Now today, that still leaves the hospital issue unresolved. Senator Gerald Allen says there continues to be ongoing discussions about the hospital and added the possibilities remain uncertain for now. Alabama lawmakers have only six working days left down in Montgomery. In Pickens County, Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side. A burglary on